This is going to be a video showing how to convert the GPO 706 or in the case of the Ericsson N1900 this is a similar phone to that. This will show you how to convert the GPO 706 or the Ericsson N1900 to the modern system or the Australian system. Now it's got an Ericsson Crone handle on this one. I put that on there because it didn't come with a handle on this one. Inside the phone, once I get the phone balance check, so you'll see a bunch of wires and terminals. And these terminals here and the wires. These wires you leave alone. It's these wires over here you want to alter a bit. In my case, the Australian system of the United States system cabling colours is green and red. I'm going to use the green and red wire as my tip and ring cables and the blue and white be on the put on the terminal is not used. So what you do, you remove the lines all together first off. I can't see what I'm doing, can you? I'll do it sideways and see what I'm doing. Yeah, these four connections. This is the original line cord came with the phone. I'm going to use it for what I've done. Is yeah, put it on here, and I've um, added the connection on there. And inside there, it's got green and red in the connection being used. So I'm going to be using that. We have the red to the phone now. It's being called the 3.3 kilohm resistor. One of these people will be into this is the one kind of resistor. This is a Aussie 3.3 ohm resistor. Here you do. You remove the link between T4 and T5. And put the resistor there. Because these phones were designed um, when you only use one telephone, but now because you um, have model jacks in one place, you have to go the bell amp. These have the ring of four, but the, the resistor puts it down to ring of run. Ren value of run, I should say. Maybe problem with the resistor not going in the phone, so I'll try again. So the resistor goes in there like this. Across T4 and T5, exactly like that. Now, the link should probably be moved if I can well find it. Goes in between 18 and 9, no, 18 in between 17 and 18, so it links all the terminals together. And last time I did a video of this, I didn't upload it because it did say on the video. I didn't tighten all the screws down properly, didn't give me dial tone, so I'm going to tighten all these down properly. Except for one, we're going to be connected something to, to one of the terminals. And you get your line cord or station type line cord, or if you're doing a modern line cord, you put the two wires, just two wires, and you add that. But I'm missing the original line cord because I put an RJ there for an adapter involved. Because I wanted to so it uses the original capacitor, this one, for my conversion. And you connect the red to T8 or T9, and green to any of the four terminals joined together. 16, 17, 18, or 9, doesn't matter which one you put it on. And these two cables you plunk on T15 
or T14. Doesn't matter which one you put those on because those aren't used. And you know, bring up the cup close to the camera. Terminal should sort of look something like that when you're finished. You all know how to convert the GPS 746 um, for the Aussie system. I did do a video showing explaining this. Oh. The wires come out, so we soon get those in there out of the way. And the tiny screws are not supposed to come out, but on mine they do come out. And what I recommend if you can't put string copies, hold down the switch hook. And hold up so it's easier. And this video going for so far, six minutes. So I'll come back. At part two, and show you this phone in working order when I get the um, line called out. So that's the end of the video for the time being. Where's the swickle button?